So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert MIB files into Zabbix templates. Now I'm going to use this script here called MIB to Zabbix, and you can download it from this website here, from GitHub here, and it's got instructions on it. I'm going to show you how to do this. So what I've done is gone out and got myself a brand new Ubuntu server with nothing on it, clean install. So the first thing I need to do is sudo apt get update. Okay, that's good. And now apt install snmp. Okay, I need the MIBS downloader, so apt install snmp MIBS downloader. Remember this is Ubuntu. If you're using CentOS or Red Hat, it'd be those two lines there we'd be doing. Yes. These are the MIBS files being downloaded right now. Okay, now we need to configure the snmp conf. Okay, so comment out that line. Control X to save. Now we can do a simple test, SNMP translate. Okay, it returns SNMP version two MIB. That's a MIB description. That's what you want from SNMP translate. If that returned numbers such as that, or something very similar to that, like OID 361211, that would be wrong. You need to make it return a MIB description like that. If SNMP translate doesn't return a MIB description, you have to go backwards and get it so that it does that. MIB to Zabbix is a Perl script, so we need to install the Perl dependencies. On Ubuntu, you can do that by typing that. APT, there we go. Yes. If you were on CentOS, you'd run that line. Now, we need to download the MIB to Zabbix Perl script itself from GitHub. And we can just copy that line there if you've got curl installed or if you've got wget installed. So let's try curl on a brand new Ubuntu. Clear curl. This is the URL. I'm going to output the response to MIB to Zabbix. That'll create a new file called MIB to Zabbix. Okay, so curl is installed by default on Ubuntu 18. Okay, so ls. Okay, there's a new file there called MIB to Zabbix. We can't execute that yet. We need to give it execute permissions. chmod a plus x mib to Zabbix. Okay, ls. It's highlighted differently on this. ls lh. And we can see it's got execute. Execute, execute. Okay, now to test mib to Zabbix. Mib to Zabbix h. Okay, that works. We've got a response. Okay, so the next step is to now get a mib file that you want to convert into a template. Zabbix templates are really good by default. It doesn't come with a template for every single SNMP device on the market. So I'll just come up with an example here that a Huawei SNMP device, I can download this MIB file here. There are many MIB files that you can download from all over the internet. I've already found one from this location. So I'm going to download this MIB file directly. Like that. Curl from this location, Huawei MIB dot MIB. Okay, LS. There we go, I've just installed it into the same folder. You can install it anywhere you like, just remember where you put it. Okay, now I need to see if SNMP Translate can list out all the MIBs and the OIDs for that MIB file. So, so SNMP Translate TZM, that's telling it which MIB file to use. And TZ is telling it how to format the output. So this is the output we want. So if I press enter, Okay, that works. That's just printed out all the MIBs and its OID for the Huawei MIB that I just downloaded. I could have downloaded a specific Cisco MIB or a specific MicroTik MIB. There are MIBs for all kinds of devices. And you'll find them usually from the manufacturer of that device, but you'll also find them on the internet. If you do a search, now the SNMP translate works exactly correct because I'm seeing the MIBs and the OIDs. So we need to pipe the SNMP translate response into MIB to Zabbix. So copy this whole line here. And here it's the same SNMP translate command pipe into MIB to Zabbix. You'll have to give it a starting OID 136141. That's where I'm starting. You can start anywhere you like. You can start lower down if you like. Just choose the root ID you think is appropriate for your MIB. 
We saw those listed when we ran SNMT translate a few seconds ago. F is the file name that it will be written out as. So it'll create a new file called template Huawei mib.xml. And N is the name that will appear in the template XML. Okay, press enter. Okay, so that's created a template for us, ls. Template Huawei mib.xml. I can now import that into Zabbix. Let's have a look at it quickly. Pseudo nano template Huawei. There we go. And that's the template name just down there, Huawei mib. It's a very big file, it has a lot of things in it. It has item prototypes, it has the discovery rules, and it will create value maps for each enumerator it found within the MIB file. Okay, control X. Okay, now to get this file into Zabbix. I'm going to use WinSCP to download this file to my local desktop. So that's it, template Huawei MIB. I'm just going to double click it. Then open it in Visual Studio Code. This is a tool that I can use to actually fine tune this template if I wanted to, but I'm not. I'm going to save it to a folder here, template Huawei MIB, save. Now open up Zabbix. Okay, so go to configuration templates inside your Zabbix server. Up here, click import, top right, browse. There it is, template Huawei MIB.xml, open. Leave all the defaults and import. Okay, so that's imported successfully. Let's look at that. Templates, it's up here, number one, Huawei MIB, applications 20, items 89, and 25 discovery rules. Look at the items. All items are disabled by default. You should review the documentation to decide which items are appropriate to monitor for your particular device that you've just created a template for. For example, I will enable total free and total real. Enable. Okay, my template now has those two items enabled. And same thing in the discovery rules. Each of the discovery rules are disabled. You should decide which ones you think are appropriate. Disk, disk IO entry, file entry. I'm not really sure. I don't have a Huawei device myself, but I can just enable those. And in each of those, they have their own items as well. There we go. And I'll maybe just enable all of those there and go backwards and enable all of those. Well, enable just that one there, if I wanted to. This is just an example. Now the script MIB to Zabbix, it doesn't do everything. It's not magic. If you don't like the template that it's created, it's up to you to modify it any way you like. You can modify it using the Zabbix user interface by adding triggers and graphs and screens to it. Same with the discovery rules, by adding prototypes. Or perhaps you can try the Zabbix share website. Someone may have already created a better template for you for your device, which is better than the template produced by MIB to Zabbix. Or even you can ask your questions on the Zabbix forums. Okay, so this particular template I created, if I do LS, I've just downloaded the Huawei MIB and the MIB to Zabbix to the same folder. I didn't have any errors, but if you're creating a template which has many dependencies, you are likely to experience errors. And a good example of this is if I was to create a template for my really old Cisco switch. This Cisco switch is no longer supported by Cisco. So I have to kind of be slightly clever on how I create a template for this switch. And I'll do that now just to show you some of the errors that I might have and how you can overcome those. So you need to find a MIB file for that. And I can't find a specific MIB file for my particular switch. It is a Cisco 2950 24 port. I haven't been able to find a specific MIB for that. And after doing some research, I found out I could probably use the Cisco VTP MIB. So I found one here on the Cisco websites. I'm going to download the file from ftpcisco.com. Cisco VTP MIB and save it as Cisco VTP MIB.my or TXT doesn't really matter. Enter LS and there it is the Cisco VTP MIB. We can look at that raw file if you like. Cisco and that's the MIB file that I'm going to convert into the template. Control X. Let's try the SNMP translate on it. M, because I'm going to point to the specific MIB file, here being this one here. 
There we go, Cisco VTP mid. Let's have a look if SNMP translate works. Okay, let's look at the beginning. Okay, cannot adopt OID in the Cisco VTP MIP. It can't find particular dependencies. I go right to the beginning of the SNMP translate response, which is just here, MIP search path. Cannot find module Cisco TC and Cisco SMI. I also need to download those as well. But further up the beginning here, it says MIP search path is root SNMP MIPS or user share SNMP MIPS. I should save those files into one of those search folders. I'll use user share SNMP MIPS, for example. So I need to try and find out what those file names are. I'll go and visit the FTP site at Cisco directly here. I'll give you a link to this in the course documentation. Let's find Cisco TC. Okay, there's a Cisco TC MIB. I'll download that one there. Okay, so we'll use a similar statement as we used before, but I will just rename that to being TC, TC MIB and save it as tcmib.my and the same for the other file which was cisco smi in the inside the ftp folder cisco smi is just like that okay so cisco smi cisco smi enter ls all right now still the snmp translate is probably going to fail because it still won't find these two new files because they're not in the SNMP search path. So let's just demonstrate that. Yeah, I can't find those two files. So I should copy them to, I'm going to copy them to user share SNMP MIBS LS. So copy this go SMI to user share MIBS. And I'm also going to copy TC MIB to use a share MIPS. They're still there, but I don't need those anymore. They're in the search path now. So let's try that SNMP translate command again. Okay, so if I go back up to the top, the next error, couldn't find Cisco TC, copied the wrong version. So, well, okay, let's fix that up. Instead of uh, TC MIB, I'll oh, just get rid of that word MIB there. Okay, yeah, LS. Okay, let's copy that file over to user share. Okay, now let's try SNMP translate again. Okay, and if we scroll up to the beginning, SNMP translate, no errors. Okay, we can now create a template from that. So I'll use the similar command from before where I'll get that SNMP translate and pipe it into MIB to Zabbix. MIB to Zabbix, setting a root OID. I'm going to use 13616, like so. I should give it a file name. I'm going to call it template Cisco VTP.xml. And I'm going to give it a name for inside the template being a Cisco VTP, VTP, enter. Okay, so we have one little error. I'm going to ignore that for now, LS. Okay, there's our new file there template cisco vtp.xml i'm going to open that now in my visual studio code and have a look at it okay this is win scp refresh cisco vtp okay the template looks quite good that's the name if i go down a little bit we've got discovery rules there's quite a lot of them right at the end we have some items there's no value types in this one value Types. It hasn't created any value types for us in this one. It could be to do something to do with this error here. I don't know how to fix that error myself. You may be able to ask the guy who wrote MIB to Zabbix by asking a question on his GitHub page. Okay, but I'll import that template anyway. Okay, so let's save this file. File save as. I'm going to save it down there in my F drive. Open up Zabbix configuration templates. Import. Browse. Cisco VTP import okay import successful cisco vtp there it is 24 items 12 discovery rules let's look at the items they're all disabled by default look at the discovery rules or well, whatever i don't think this template is good enough for the job i'm just going to have to just spend some time refining it one way i can do that 
Let's maybe reduce this root OID a little bit down to 1361. Let's see what that does. Okay, I didn't get an error actually this time. Perhaps by using the lower ID, MIB to Zabbix was able to find some things that it couldn't find before. Anyway, let's have a look at that again. Let's re-look at that in VS Code. And this time we appear to have value maps added. So I'm feeling much more confident about this template. So I'll save as to my F folder and just overwrite the old one. Let's go into templates. Just delete that old one there. Okay, and let's re-import the new one. Import. Okay, import successful. Templates. This time 246 items and 104 discovery rules. It's actually a good thing that all those things aren't enabled by default because that would put a lot of strain on your Zabbix server and also on the device as soon as you assign that template. So let's look at some items. There are five pages of items here. If entry discovery might be a good one. Item prototypes, MTU, if description, if type. If in octets, all these, I'm going to enable all those. Okay, so here are the important ones that I might want are if out octets for each port on the switch and if in octets. Discovery rules, I should also enable the if entry there. So enable. Now I know a little bit about what is available on my Cisco switch. So I know what I'm looking for in terms of if entry here and its item prototypes. With your templates that you create, only you will know what's important. Or try the forums once again, because SNMP is a huge subject. So let's just say I had a host, a new host. I was creating a new switch. For example, I can now assign that template to it in Cisco VTP. And there we go. And finish creating my host. Okay, so that was a video on how to convert MIBS files into Zapix templates. Excellent.